Hey everybody, my name is Gadam, welcome back from the video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and uh, did it all. We actually did it for the first time. We won the Stanley Cup about in time because uh, we had like three uh, President's Trophy in a row. So it was due for us to finally get the Cup. We got past the third round, uh, our Dark Horse. And uh, after that, it was pretty much easy against the uh, Seattle Krakens, as you can see. Uh, it wasn't a t challenge whatsoever in the Stanley Cup Finals. So uh, we managed to win the Cup, boys. We did it. So now, not only do I have under my hand three President's Trophy, I also have a Stanley Cup. So that's really good. So already I've accomplished all that I've ever wanted to accomplish with this team. We're going to uh, restart. We're going to continue, though, with uh, at least another season. Uh, I do have other games coming up and stuff, so this my this series might be ended abruptly or put on a hold for a while. But uh, I'm definitely going to continue it for now because uh, it seems like I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. So let's just sim all the way to the draft. We're going to see who retired this year after, uh, after uh, this incredible little year. Maybe some players decided to retire on our uh, on our end. Looks like Calgary is going to get their very first draft pick via an Edmonton, which is uh, really good for them. They also get, I think they, I saw them uh, somewhere else, right? No, uh, never mind. I didn't see any, anybody else. So Boston won the draft lottery big time. They went from 10th position all the way to the second position. So that's great for them, I guess. Vegas, Detroit. All of these guys are all in there, I guess. And uh, obviously, we're not in there. Seattle, uh, which was in the uh, finals, was the Stanley Cup finals, uh, ended up having a top 15 pick, boys, just because they had the uh, pick from Tampa Bay. So that's good for them. They, they ended up uh, not losing anything, boys. They win overall. So uh, this year, the ones that decided to retire was Voracek. With uh, at the almost 1,200 points, boys, which is uh, really good. Uh, definitely a legend. And uh, Pavelski, definitely a superstar in himself. 1,000 points, boys. 500 goals in his career. Uh, really good player. And we've got Pacioretty, decided to retire as well. Oshi, Eberly, Bailey. All these players. we got Radulov as well. So lots of uh, big-time veterans decided to retire. One legend or two. Uh, defensive wise, oh, John Carlson, boys, 37 years of age, decided to retire at uh, with a thousand points as a defenseman. That is quite a lot, boys. It's probably one of the best defensemen out there that uh, ever lived. I mean, look at those points that he put up. That's a lot. That's a lot of points right there, boys. So he was definitely producing super well. And I don't know why he retired because he could have continued going on. Seems like he was aging like a fine wine, but I guess um, decided to retire anyways. Ended up being better than the original Carlson, which was Eric Carlson as well, boys. So 835 points and 805 points from uh, Chris Letan, boys. So Letan decided to retire as well. And we also lost P.K. Subban, so pretty much everybody retired in terms of the defense, uh, defensive core. Everybody literally retired. And goaltender-wise, Frederick Anderson is gone. Ben Bishop and uh, Varlamov, Grubauer, Bernier, a lot of the goalies as well. So it's a big big year for the uh, retirees, I guess. For our own side, for our team, we didn't lose anybody. It seems like we only lost Enti Renta. So Renta decided to retire. So he only lasted one year with us. As a signee. And looks like Pavelski is now an available coach. Uh, to be signed. So I don't know if there's anybody on our part. That is uh, is due for the coaching staff at least to be signed up. Nope. Everybody's there. Still there. Margiolano, Suter are still in there. So yeah. We are good boys. We don't have to change anything. So let's just go straight into the entry draft. Now very much doubt we're going to be able to get into the top 10. But we can try. Uh, since we won the cup, we are all the way at the last pick for the first round. We'll try and move up a little bit if we can. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So all the way to the 27th pick. Uh, we'll see if we can move up at all. We probably can. We probably got some rookie prospects and stuff. Yeah, we got uh, a couple of them. 
So we got uh, all the elite players that I've got. I want to keep all of them for sure. That's definitely a thing that uh, I want uh, to do. So top nines are not really worth anything. I can try and trade them away, but I don't think uh, it's going to work out. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. I can try and uh, put in the other top nine as well. Just put all my top nines. Maybe that's going to work. Yeah, that's not going to work. So top nines, low top nines especially are not worth a damn, boys. So we're not going to be able to trade these types of players. Uh, so I don't really have anything else outside of elite players and big time top sixes. Which I'm willing to give away uh, these top sixes. I'm never going to really play them. I've got plenty of... Uh, of elites uh, unlike this guy though this guy is a big time scorer this uh, uh cesar uh, dubois boys is a really good uh, really good player so i, I might want to keep that one but what about the other ones yeah samson is not too great bold but Zuk is actually pretty good okay yeah I don't, I don't know uh but if we trade away those so at least one of those top sixes we need to at least Get a really good draft pick in exchange. So maybe even the 27, 22nd pick. So all the way to 10 picks of movement. I think uh, will be the way to go. So uh, Samsonov, I would be willing to get rid of him. Yeah, I could even move up further than that. I think I could move up further than that, boys. So maybe all the way to the 17 pick. If I can do that, that's uh, really going to help us out. That's really going to be great. Let's try it out, boys. Let's try and trade away Samsonov. Now that I'm really going to use these players anyways. Okay, so that's not going to happen. So we are not going to get him. Maybe the 20th pick. Maybe the 20th pick could work uh, for the capital. And they do want Samsonov. So let's see if that's going to work. Not at all, actually. They want both of those. But it's not enough. Okay. So my guess was the right thing. Uh, I was just going to send the first pick really quick because we're... Uh, Missing on time. So the very first draft pick this year was um, Perrault. Pierre Perrault, boys. Friend, medium franchise uh, the left winger. All right. And 80 overall as well. So Calgary got themselves a really big time stud. Let me see. So we're going to go back to the 22nd pick. I'm pretty sure I can get that one. If I can't get that, that makes no sense to me. Uh, literally. Because I this, uh, this uh, my worth, my trade... Uh, my trade uh, worth is uh, definitely a whole lot. What? The? They refused even? Okay. You know what, boys? We'll just transition until I find something. All right. So I managed to move up to 25th pick, boys. Didn't take too long. Uh, that's not a big time change uh, compared to the 27. But I guess it's it's a change. So we'll definitely take it. We'll take, uh, we'll take what we can get. And we'll continue to try and move up. Uh, maybe... So I, I don't know, be, between uh, uh, between uh, Bolduc and Dubois, I definitely want to keep Dubois because it seems like he's a really good player. But then again, uh, how many years do they got left? I actually legit don't know if uh, there's uh, I'm going to have to sign them or not. Um, so I might want to get rid of both of them, but let's get rid of uh, Bolduc first. There we go. So uh, all the way to 20 big boys. And uh, we're going to try and get the top fi a top 15 pick now. Hopefully we can manage that. Uh, my, my goal here is to get another big time prospect. So Bolzuk, uh, get rid of him. I can actually get a lot more for Bolzuk. So top 10 pick for sure, boys. Top 10 pick. Come on now. At least that. There we go. All right. So we got the twel uh, top 12 pick, boys. Which is as high as we're going to be able to go. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to go further than this. I'm not trading away my elite players. That's not going to happen. So uh, let's just uh, simulate now uh, all the way until my uh, second, uh, my 12th pick. So Blum, uh, we've got uh, for Vegas, uh, uh, Vukala for Detroit. Got a bunch of elite players. I want to see how far this uh, elite, uh, these elites are going. Seems like it's already over. Yeah, a bunch of top sixes already, boys. Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot. Okay. Seems like uh, nobody's uh, found a way to get themselves a, another elite for a long time. That's interesting. All right. So, as an option, we do have Ram Jack Singh. What type of name is that? And we've got uh, Jasper. 
So we've got these two options, possibly Leahy as well. Uh, we also have, I'm going to look at the gems really quick. Okay, so a Schumacher is definitely uh, an option for us, a gem. 56 overall uh, scheduled to be in. These two guys right here, I definitely want to get these two. Uh, also, there's this top six right here, but I guess we can take a chance right here uh, on one of these guys. Now, which one would be the best? This one produces a lot of points, but it, uh, it was on a C minus league. He is compared to Al McInnes, three years. One year Al McInnes, uh, Jasper is better, would be better, boys. And three years, Kristanev. Uh, let me, I don't know if he's going to actually be an elite though, but it's a one year guy. So let's pick him up, boys. Let's pick Jasper up. Left D. I don't know if he's going to be any good. Let's see really quick. All right, top four. All right, so 72. Medium top four. Two-way defenseman. So I pretty much wasted all these picks, really, because he's, he's a really good defenseman. He produces quite a lot, 50 points. I don't know if I'm going to have any space for that type of player, boys. I really doubt it. Uh, it's definitely better than that uh, uh, Ramyaksin guy. That's for sure. So at least I got the better hand. So far it seems like of all the ones I was looking at. Yeah, I got the better end of it. Okay, so I got the better pick overall. So I did the right choice, I guess. Definitely did the right choice. It doesn't seem like anybody else is uh, uh, did get anything interesting. Let me Now it's time for us actually to go for uh, elite players. We do have this guy, I saw him. Uh, it looks like the other gem that I wanted got picked up already. I don't want to miss out on this uh, Alexiev guy though. I don't want to miss out on him, but there is another elite uh, player available. Guaranteed low elite and Banash boys. I don't want to miss out on this guy as well. So we'll just pick him up. We'll get. Uh, we'll take Banash because he's, he was guaranteed uh, low elite. Let's pick him up really quick and see what he is. Yeah, low elite, 66. Uh, left wing playmaker so there we go that's a perfect player for us as well that's a, then we're going to be a really good addition all the way to 96 pick though so unfortunately we're going to be missing out on that uh, on that gem probably yeah I think uh, I think we missed out on it yeah we missed out on him so unfortunate the two uh, gems that I wanted missed out on them because we're so far away uh, with the draft picks it doesn't matter though too much as we do have a potential low elite once again right here. Uh, there we go. So I think I want to pick this guy up for sure. I'm going to pick him up. Riley Reg, uh, Leg. We're going to make sure to pick him up because he seems like he could be uh, a, two, uh, a low elite as well. Which definitely would be welcome. He is. Two-way defenseman low elite boys. Good. So we got ourselves two low elites which is fantastic. We're getting some really good draft picks uh, today boys. As we're about to enter uh, the fourth round. Anybody in particular that is well scouted. I want somebody that's well scouted that we know for a fact is going to be good. Alright, so guaranteed low top six. I'm going to pick this guy up. We know what he is. So uh, guaranteed to low top six. I want to see as well. We're always the last draft pick. Which is annoying. Alright, 50 overall. Low top six though. So he's, he's got some good value. Good value that we can probably trade away in the future. And uh, what about the other ones? So, for the rest, I don't, I don't think we have anybody else that's really good, uh, really well drafted. Unlike, unless uh, Quincy, this Quincy guy is well drafted as well. Medium top four. Uh, we possibly have a gem in us, and it ended up not being any good. He's a medium top seven boy, so not good at all. Okay. For the rest, as we entered, I think the sixth round. We got Petrovic, possibly James Poltonen. Uh, I want to take a chance on these goaltenders. These goaltenders sometimes can be really good. Although this guy is a 19 years of age. We can take a chance on him. He's a starter. So that was kind of a waste voice. And the last pick for today. Let's see what we can get our hands on. Uh, we do have options right here. Uh, between these guys, I don't know which I want to pick. Uh, they're all a little bit too old. Yes, yeah, so I think the only options would be uh, Josephson, which is 18 years of age. So we're going to pick this guy up, I guess. Hopefully he's uh, good enough. Nope, he's a top, bottom six. So The last few picks we picked up were not really good. 
Uh, but the first picks, a couple of picks, were actually pretty decent, boys. So uh, I'm happy about that. It looks like all my coaches need to be re-signed as well, as you can see right here, which is not near, not really the best thing. Uh, the fact that I got to re-sign all these coaches and stuff, it's going to take a while, boys. Everybody wants to be a head coach now. Here's the thing. I don't think I want uh, Keith to be back. He wants to be probably the head coach, right? All right, so yeah, I'm going to I'm going to release him. I'm going to uh, put uh, Franz Nilsson as my head coach for sure. So you're going to be my head coach. And for these guys, they don't want to be head coach. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, Hulo as my head coach for the uh, NHL. And uh, Eshe does not want to be back, really. Uh, uh, he wants to be a head coach as well. I'll try and give him some money, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, let's try and give him back, get him back as the associate. Let's try and give it that amount of money. Let's see if he's going to accept or not. Also have to deal with this whole thing right here. This uh, this guy, Sex Smith and Lambert. I don't know if uh, it, both of them want to be a head coach, obviously. So not too sure where I want them. I definitely want them back. So I'm going to try and re-sign them as well, boys. Let's see if it's going to work out. All right, let's see. I've offered all of them a contract. I released. went ahead and released the AHL goalie. Don't think it was going to come back anyways. We'll find some better uh, coaches alongside of them. Could be Pavelski, boys, somewhere in the NHL. So we'll give them a chance. And for the rest of them, uh, there's a lot of scouts I got to re-sign as well. Damn. It's the it's the year of re-signing, uh, re boys. Everybody's got to get re-signed. And uh, it's almost all of my scouts as well. Like a third of my scouts need to be re-signed, which is kind of annoying. All, right, all my scouts are going to be re-signed. Let's see who's going to accept the offers and whatnot. Uh, as uh, uh, it's telling us that the, some head coaches, uh, some coaches got fired and whatnot. So let's see what we got as an option. So first, uh, first thing first, we still got Mekinen, of course, uh, set up for a lot of years. For a couple of years. Uh, I think it's actually two years, right? Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, it's two years left for him. We got Larkin again and middle stats set up. So we got them for a while. Uh, Kuznetsov, his contract is due and since he's an exact talk six now, we can probably find a better player than him. Bagibule is still good enough to be our depth uh, forward. So here's what we're going to do, boys. We're going to release Kuznetsov, even though he's a really good player for us. He's been pretty decent. Uh, we're going to release him. And see if there's going to be a better option than him. If not, we'll pick it. We'll just pick him back up. So definitely going to need a center. Uh, for the minors, we already have four centers in the minors. One of them is our medium elite uh, Mullen, which uh, didn't grow too much. He, he grew a little bit. And we got Vastelev, which is our low elite as well. So we need to sign this guy, which is uh, something for sure. So... We need to absolutely sign this guy. This guy's going to be uh, good for us. He's a playmaker after all. So definitely want to sign him. Give him a contract really quick, boys. He's not going to be ready for this year. I don't think so, at least. So we'll just give him the contract. And in exchange, we're going to have to get rid of one of these uh, one of these guys that are not growing anymore. So either Bachfis or Hayden. So we have whichever one is uh, the worst, I think, uh, should be the one going. I think uh, Aiden is the worst. So we're just going to buy out his contract. So buy out Aiden's contract. And there we go. And for the left wing position, we already have pretty much everybody. Everybody's already signed up. Uh, Johnson is only an 81, though. He's starting to drop. And he's got one year left, uh, obviously. So that uh, made sure uh, that that would have happened. So at least we don't need to worry too much. We still got everybody else signed up for the miners. We're gonna have to release Simon. Uh, obvi obviously, why uh, why that is is because the five is needs to be signed, boys. He's 68 overall, and this contract is due, so we need to sign him as a low elite. Let's sign the five up, and uh, we've got we're gonna get all four of our players in here. As Abert, as you can see, is a 72 overall. I don't like the fact that I have to sign them so early on, especially when they're not really ready. The five is not even ready for the AHL at all. But I don't have a choice, boys. I gotta play them. I gotta sign them. I can't be losing them just like that. So, uh, for the right wing position, we got everybody still. 
Uh, here's the thing. Uh, Heinz is ready to play in the league for us. So he's probably going to make his... Uh, yeah, he's going to make his debut this year with us. Which means that we absolutely have... We're going to have to get rid of one of these players. And obviously the one we're going to have to get rid of is Olofsson. We're going to have to buy all this contract, boys. It's going to have to happen. So Olofsson... Unfortunately for you, it's time to go. You gave us a couple of years. You played a lot of years. You played his entire career with us, boys. But we're going to have to re uh, get rid of him. We have to make space for Heinz. It's unfortunate, but I have to buy them out. And I could trade them away. I could have waited and traded them away, boys. But I don't want to uh, cheese it out too much uh, for the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and buy out this contract. So he has another opportunity for free for another team. And for the miners, we got two players for the miners currently playing. Uh, we're not going to resign this guy because he's not good enough. And Inostroza, we could resign him if he's good enough. Yeah, he's decent enough, so we're going to resign him, boys. Uh, give him a two-year deal. Two-year deal at maximum amount of uh, uh, money. There we go. And we're just going to need one more player for the miners for the right wing position. And for the defensive wise, let's see really quick. One, two, three, four. Uh, we got four players, so four defensemen. Anybody that could be ready? No, not at all in the minors. So we got four defensemen signed already. Pirates is not really growing anymore. It seems like power is uh, kind of getting at his uh, peak as well. Uh, Pirates, though, needs to start growing a lot more because he's only 84. I want to see him grow at least a step further. He's an elite after all. Uh, Apple buy does not want to resign. Same thing for Lazarev. I kind of I want both of them back though. Lazarev is uh, a really good player for us. He's a decent player. He's played two years for us so far. Not a lot of points, but he's a defensive defenseman. And I want him back. So we're definitely going to try and sign him back, boys. Uh, we're going to try and give him the big amount of money as well. A big time deal, which eight years would put him at uh, 31 years of age when the, the contract's finished. Let's make just make sure to give him like 4.8 or something. Just to make sure that he comes with us. He signs with us and stuff like that. Since he doesn't want to come back. And Apple buy. Uh, he doesn't want to come back. He's a medium top 4. I could definitely find better than him though. So if he doesn't want to come back. I definitely could find a better option than him. Especially since he's a defensive defenseman. So him I can afford to release him boys. I can afford to to get rid of him. For sure. So let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five. So now we got five defensemen. We're going to need one more. And for the miners, uh, we already have our depth defensemen. So for the miners, we got three of them, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we got all six of our defensemen. We got all six of them. So we don't need to worry about a, a single thing. And for last but not least, the goal tending position. We still got Kasha at uh, 88 overall. With uh, Lukanen, which is still uh, an 83 overall. Uh, Subban, his contract is due. And my red, uh, my goaltender, Tembellini, which his contract is going to be due. Uh, we're going to have to sign him next year. Let him grow even further. Uh, we can't sign him just yet. He's not ready. Let's just sign Subban. He's been uh, pretty good for us so far. So let's sign him back uh, for another two-year deal. All right. So we know what we're, what we're looking for, boys. Uh, we do have Pierre Rouleau back as the head coach, so he's going to be back. Uh, I don't feel like the role. I'm not interested in joining with this job title. So, uh, Franz Nilsson does not want to be a head coach somehow. He told me in the contract negotiation, it tells me that he wants to be a head coach. But uh, for some reason, he refused. So, a uh, bunch of players, they're all, they all refused, really. They literally all refused my offers except for the head coach, which is very frustrating. I like I hate that so much though because that's the thing they always refuse, and now uh, and uh, and then you're stuck to to try and uh, convince them with so much money afterwards. So we got the head coach, but these guys do not want to be back. Let me let me get rid of Eshe. I'm not gonna even bother with him. I do want my friends Nilsson back. Sesame, uh, I'm just going to get rid of him. So Nilsson was not even uh, enough money. So we're just going to release all of them. We're going to release every single one of them. And uh, better luck with another team, I guess. You don't want to sign with me? Go fuck yourself, I guess. 
I'm not gonna waste my time with them, boys. And we are getting ready for the free agency, last but not least. I am gonna take a look, obviously, at the coaching staffs. Uh, what do we have as an option? Obviously, we got a lot of coaches that we need to sign. An associate coach for the, uh, the NHL. And pretty much every single coach for the AHL. So, let's take a quick look at what we could get. Uh, we obviously got this SA that we, we had before. All these, uh, these guys... They're not really interesting to me. Now, I want to sign Pavelski. I'll uh, give him a try, actually. I'll give him a chance as the NHL, uh, AHL coach. Uh, we do need an associate coach, though. You know what? Let's, um, let's sign him as our associate coach, actually. Let's do that. Uh, he wants to be the associate as well. That's actually perfect. So he wants to be the associate coach. Let's just give him a little bit more money. That's the maximum I can give him. So let's just give him that. And for Dustin Brown, we also have Dustin Brown in here. Now, he wants to be an associate coach as well. But I can probably convince him to go into the minors as well uh, instead. So, let's try and convince him to go into the minors. Uh, we've got... Uh, which one is it? A head coach? Yeah, we need a head coach for sure. So, let's convince him to be a head coach. He'll probably accept, boys. It doesn't cost anything. All right, there we go. That's done. That's offered. Anybody else that uh, is recognizable as a name that I could try and pick up? Don't think there's anybody else that I recognize, boys. So anybody else that uh, would be interesting would be uh, a top tier, really. So uh, associate coach, all that good stuff. Uh, I think I, I want to try and get back Franz Nilsson again. I want to try and get him back. And this time around as the... Um, how much money does he want? That's the problem. He wants that amount of money, boys. I'm going to try and get him back as an associate coach for the AHL again. Uh, but I don't think it's going to work out, boys. We'll see, though. All right, so uh, I'm giving him the maximum amount of money I can give him. Next up would be... Uh, I don't I don't know who I, I want to go for. I need to go for somebody that doesn't ask too much money. At the two millions, it's too much money. Because they're going to start asking for way too much. So I got to go ask for, like, I can still get this guy. Lapointe is still an available player that I could get. So I'm going to try and get him. Uh, Mathieu Lapointe. I'm going to try and get him as the assistant coach. All right, the contract has been offered. And last but not least, boys, we need somebody as the goalie coach. We need somebody that would be an actual really good goalie coach. So maybe a specialist in that matter. I don't see anybody for that, though. I do have an option. But uh, it would be Paul Stashny. I mean, a recognizable face as well. So we can try and get Paul Stashny back, boys. So let's 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 get him in there. Let's sign him as the uh, head coach, uh, as the goalie coach. Not sure how much uh, how good he's gonna really be for our player, uh, our goalies. But I mean, uh, why not? Just some recognize uh, recognizable veterans uh, to be my coaches and stuff in my league would be great uh, for the team uh, chemistry and stuff. And now we're going to just finally go for the free agency. We don't have a whole lot that we can pick, uh, that we need to pick. Center-wise, we do need a center. That's the one thing that we need. Uh, we need. So we got three options right here, seems like, or maybe more. We got four options. All right, so there we go. We got Farrell, Kuznetsov, once again, Hayden, or Johansson. Now, two of them are past their prime at 35 and 34. So it's uh, very risky to get them. Others... Two other ones are in their prime, 27 and 25. So Farrell, I'm interested by him. He continues, he's continued to grow. And uh, he's a really good player. Yeah, he's got some really good shooting stats. And Hayden, he's got some decent, he's not that good actually. He's not that good compared to the other ones. Kuznetsa still got some good stats. But I think the best option right here would definitely be, he was playing for Montreal as well. So Montreal just got uh, once again, got rid of one of their big-time centermans for some reason. Okay, yeah, I, I'm out of pick him up. He's a decent player, boys. I think he's definitely going to be a good addition for us. So let's pick him up, giving him uh, a seven-year deal. To put him up at uh, 32 years of age. Uh, we'll give him a 9.1. Uh, 9.15 9 uh, deal. Just to make sure he signs with us. He has a lot of teams that are interested in him, though. So let's hope that he comes, uh, goes with us. Last but not least, as we go left wing position, nothing interesting. We don't need anything either. A right wing position. 
Uh, we do need a right wing, but for the minors, so we don't need anybody uh, for the main league. So for the minors, the we got a couple of options here and there. Uh, we just have uh, Ho Sang, but 3.4. I'm looking at the shooting stats as well, the ones that can really score a lot of goals, boys, for us. Radic. Radic is actually pretty good, but uh, he's got puck skills level 3. And Ho Sang's got better puck skills. So I would pick up Ho Sang. I think he's a good option. We'll uh, pick up Ho Sang, boys. Two years. Uh, sure, why not? Two years at uh, maximum amount of money. Let's give him that. There we go. And for the defensive position, we do need one defenseman for the league. And that's perfect because the two biggest uh, free agents of the this year are uh, in the are defensemen. So we got either Hughes, uh, Quinn Hughes boys, which is the best defenseman, one of the best defensemen of the league, uh, up against Kale McCarr. So ba two big time uh, players in their prime as well. It's just a matter of choosing who would be the best fit. And I think Quinn Hughes is the best fit, boys. He's got better stats overall, just all across the board. Uh, Quinn Hughes is the type of guy to put up 94 points. He's another one of those John Carlson type. So really good player. Uh, Makar is good as well, but he's not on that level of production. As you can see, he's not even on the, uh, the same type of player. So I'm playing, uh, I'm picking Win uh, Quinn Hughes, boys. He's a much better player, much better. Uh, I will pick him a six year deal and uh, 4.25. Now I want to make sure he does sign with us. He's, he's a big time player. So uh, 15, 15.25 boys. Okay, we're going to give him that. Hopefully he's gonna accept. And uh, for the minor, uh, for the goalies, we just need a minor goaltender uh, to help out with uh, help Subban out for just one year. So let's see if we can find anything interesting. So we can probably like uh, like every time pick up a veteran that we know is only gonna last one year. Uh, is probably gonna retire after this, or we can pick up anybody really. But we know we're gonna have that uh, that the, that goalie that's gonna be ready next year so either way we want to have a one-year deal for that goaltender that we're going to sign so i'm not too sure uh which one would be the best option uh this Cranley guy is good but i want somebody that does is not growing currently growing we do have cam talbot uh perfect choice boys and we're gonna pick uh talbot is not the pre the best goalie available for the miners but he's definitely a goaltender that um He's perfect for the job. He's 39 years of age. So we'll give him one country, one year of contract. Uh, his contract is going to be done for next year. He's not going to be back. He's just there for one year. And uh, that's it, boys. Until our prospect, our other goaltender is uh, going to be ready. So he's just here, uh, that, uh, there for that a single year. So now let's go ahead and advance finally and see who's going to accept. So we do have Pavelski as our associate coach. Perfect. Perfect. And we got Franz Nilsson as our AHL associate coach. Is that is that it? Okay, no. Pavelski is our associate coach for the NHL. And uh, Nilsson's the associate coach for the AHL. So there we go. Uh, Mathieu Lapointe is our assistant coach for the AHL. Good. Dustin Brown the, the refused to be the head coach. He does not want to be the head coach. Okay. But we do have Paul Stachny as our goalie coach. Okay, so we got to go look really quick for our coach. Uh, for our head coach for the AHL. That's quite interesting that Dustin Brown didn't want to be uh, the head coach there. He had a he had a really good chance of being uh, of being that. And uh, I guess he refused straight up. Doesn't want to be a head coach for some reason. We'll pick this Cooper guy. Seems like a really good, uh, really good uh, coach. We also have this guy. He's got some A's. But I think Cooper is the best one. He's got B's across the board. So just pick him up. Uh, as the head coach, and uh, we'll give him uh, a little bit more money. We'll give him the maximum money, actually, amount of money that we can give him, just to make sure that he does sign with us. There we go. Uh, hopefully, he will. Uh, it's the I, I went for the, to the, to search for uh, a guy that wanted to be head coach for the AHL, so uh, hopefully he's gonna accept. We got Ken Talbot signed up. Oh, saying as well, perfect. And uh, I'm just waiting on the big news. So. Uh, Quinn and Hughes has decided to sign with the Minnesota Wild instead. God damn it. So he refused my contract. That is not good. Uh, we do have Farrell though. Now, 
I think McCarr by now would have already been signed, right? Is he signed? I think McCarr got signed, boys. So we missed out on our defenseman right there. That's bullshit. We either had McCarr or Hughes. If I had known Hughes uh, was going to be a little bitch like that and refuse my contract, I would have went for McCarr. But I missed out big time, I guess. We'd still have Lin, uh, Lin Holm. We're still going to... I guess we're going to sign Lin Holm. He's our best option right here. Just sign him up, I guess. That's really unfortunate. Give him a two-year uh, two deal for Lin Holm. And I guess we're just all also going to give him... Just to make sure that he does sign with us, 6.7. Sure, I should learn my from my mistakes, boys, uh, from previous Let's Plays. I should have given him like 15 million, or s not 15 million, but I should have given him the maximum that you can really give him, like 20 million or something. Should have done that, boys, but sometimes, you know, you forget. You forget that this game uh, doesn't, uh, uh, that this uh, these players just want to sign for somebody else. Uh, Cooper is our head coach now, so there we go. We got our head coach for the a AHL, which means we got everybody. In your coaching staff. Now I'm just waiting for Linholm to give me an answer. And there we go. So we got our uh, we got our defenseman. Now Linholm is definitely not uh, Quinn Hughes. It would have been great to have Quinn Hughes on our team. But um, we can't have everything boys. So it looks like this is it. We got everybody what we wanted. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop it right here. We uh, did the off season stuff. Next video, we're going to be do, uh, simulating the entire season. And uh, we'll uh, and we'll see if we're going to be able to get, once again, the President's Trophy, boys. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.